Hi everybody and welcome to another video of the channel. Right here in front of me I have got the first wave of the Marvel Legends retro line. So how did these figures come to be? The premise is the following. So you would have to imagine that we go back in time, back to the 80s, and the Cincinnati toy manufacturer Kenner had acquired the right to build manufacture action figures of the Marvel Universe. So that's what the gentleman at Hasbro came up with. Okay, so this line of figures that in retrospect is quite nostalgic. These figures did not exist on this particular format, but you would have to imagine what it would have been like if Kenner had got the license to manufacture these figures in the same way they did manufacture our beloved Star Wars figures. So this is one of those cases in which the figure itself is really sold by the package in which it comes. So as you can see, each, each individual figure comes with its own packaging and what is more, the lettering used is reminiscent of the original lettering of the comic books. So for me, for me particularly, this is going back to basics. I know we've had so many different incarnations of these same characters. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Marvel Cinematic Universe, but they have come up with different costumes but powerful imageries which have you know been incorporated in our collective collective minds when you go back to these you actually go back to basics the first time I came in contact with these characters was through comic books and this was pretty much the way they looked so starting off with the human torch okay one of the fantastic four the human torch Okay, brilliant artwork. You can see all of these cards are in perfect condition. They remind us that they do belong to the Marvel Legends collection. In this case, three and three quarter inch, roughly 10 centimeters, perhaps, perhaps 12. So the Kenner logo, as if it were this company, which was responsible for actually making these action figures. On the other side, you've got, okay, first and foremost, so you've got <clears throat> a picture of the character, okay, the Human Torch again, a reminder of the team it belongs to, and then you've got the characteristics of the, the characters. So, day or night, the fantastic Human Torch lights up the sky in the battle against evil for justice, he will fly. That's exactly right. Yeah, that's the first one. Translucent plastic over here and the flame effects on each one of his arms and legs and head too. Yeah, the first one, Human Torch. The second one, almost unrecognizable for the people who have only come across this character through the MCU is none other than Carol Danvers. Yes, that is exactly right. So she is one of the Avengers, as you all know. There you go, another one, another great uh, image on the front of the car. You will notice that they've got these little differences on each one of those cards, which make them quite unique. Okay, uh, this is interesting because the first time I saw, I flipped the figures and I saw the back of the cards, I thought that they were dirty, and they are dirty, but this was not, this was made in purpose, okay, as if it were actually, if they had been made exactly in the 80s, and they had been subjected to some, you know, wear and tear. Pretty much the same as the retro cards for the Star Wars. That they've got this, you know, faded look all around the edges of the card. Okay, yeah, that's right. So in terms of Carol, what do they say here? Um, scaring us. 
soaring, sorry, soaring through the skies. Carol Danvers flies with superhuman strength and speed in the fight to save the world. She's the hero we need. Okay, Carol Danvers over here. Here we go. That's right. Okay, the third one. Yes, none other than Dr. Bruce Banner himself, the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, once again. So, this is quite iconic because it's the same lettering used in the Incredible Hulk comic books, okay? Yeah, I absolutely love these figures, okay? Only five points of articulation. I have to say that I first came across this collection, I would say roughly about a year ago, and I immediately jumped on the bandwagon. So I said, this is absolutely made for me, okay? Uh, only the legs, the arms, and the head move, okay? Here we go, here we have them. So what do they have to say about uh, the Hulk. So Dr. Bruce Banner, stuck by gamma rays, turns into the Hulk, an enormous hero with massive green bulk. That's right. Curiously enough, these, these uh, cards also have the same text in Portuguese, but with a Brazilian flavor. That's it, okay? So this is also reminiscent of the first comic books that I used to read, uh, that they still were, the lettering was still in Portuguese, but with a Brazilian, you know, flavor to them. So that is, once again, a blink of an eye to my youth. Okay, this is Dr. Bruce Banner. Then we have Magneto as a representative of the X-Men. That's right, once again, the X-Men, the uncanny X-Men to be more precise. Magneto, okay, here we go. On this side, a powerful mutant villain who controls magnetic fields. Magneto clashes with the X-Men to make them yield. And that he does quite often, okay? Yes, Magneto. And obviously, two favorites for last. First of them, Captain America. And we're talking about Steve Rogers over here. Not the most recent person to wear the suit. Okay, so here he goes. You know, traditional. This is the exact way I remember this character being introduced to me. Okay, you got the stars and stripes. That's it. This is one of the cases in which I treasure the figure as much as the card itself. You will notice that none of these cards has been punched, so they are all unpunched. They are all in premium condition. And I have to thank the guys at Shop for Nerds for that, because that's where I got these figures. Great to see them open once again. Hope to do many, many more businesses with them. Okay, let's hear what they have to say about Captain America. Captain America is a heroic force for all time, fighting to keep freedom and liberty safe from evil crime. There you go, okay. And last, but by no means least, yes, we've got here the amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, Peter Parker, that's right, you guys. Okay, once again, his classic costume. Right, so high above the ground, swinging through the streets, Spider-Man stops criminals that seem impossible to beat for any other one except him. Yeah, you will notice that six individual figures comprise this first wave, and the second wave is already on their way. And judging by the way, I absolutely love these six figures. It won't be too much of a stretch of the imagination to get the notion that I'm going to make my best to try and get the second wave as well. That's a wrap, you guys. I hope you've all enjoyed. I know I most certainly have, okay? Bye-bye, you guys. See you again. Take care.